HMS Prince of Wales is one of the most powerful surface warships ever constructed in the UK. Along with her sister ship HMS Queen Elizabeth, they are the largest ships ever built for the Royal Navy. HMS Prince of Wales be equipped defensive weapons include the Phalanx Close-in Weapons System for anti-aircraft and anti-missile defense, and 30mm automated small-caliber guns and miniguns for use against fast attack craft. Her punch is provided by F-35 Lightning fighter jets as she deploys around the world in a naval task group. With an expected service life of up to 50 years, the floating cities of the Queen Elizabeth class are highly versatile and able to meet the widest range of tasks around the world. The Royal Navy is transforming into a force centered around carrier strike supporting the ships as they conduct carrier strike missions, enforce no-fly zones, deploy Royal Marine Commandos, deliver humanitarian aid, and build international partnerships with our allies. The ability to move 500 miles per day, combined with the speed and range of the F-35 jets, means these carriers can react at very short notice and make a difference around the globe. The ship's flight deck is 70 meters wide and 280 meters long, enough space for three football pitches. Her ship's company make their way through 170 meters of sausages a day, which is roughly twice the height of the liver building. She has a ship's company of 700 sailors, which will increase to around 1,600 with aircraft on board. HMS Prince of Wales is affiliated with the cities of Liverpool and Bristol. Affiliations in the Royal Navy mean a close bond between a ship and the community she is tied with. Much like her sister ship Queen Elizabeth, the original 2008 design of Prince of Wales envisaged flying F-35B Lightning II short takeoff and vertical landing jets from a ski jump ramp. However, in May 2010, the government published its long-awaited Strategic Defence and Security Review, which stated that Prince of Wales would be converted to a catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery configuration, operating the F-35C. An 18-month study commenced into the conversion but ultimately found that it would cause severe cost implications and delays. In May 2012, the government announced it would be reversing its decision to convert Prince of Wales and that the ship would be built to its original vertical landing design. The SDSR also stipulated that the UK only required one aircraft carrier, however penalty clauses in the contract meant that cancelling Prince of Wales would be more expensive than building her. Instead, the government planned to construct Prince of Wales and then either place her into extended readiness or have her sold to an ally. 24. Contrary to this, in 2012, the Royal Navy published its annual yearbook, titled A Global Force 2012-13 which stated that both carriers are likely to be commissioned and may even be capable of operating together. 25. Prince of Wales was assembled at Resyth from 52 blocks built by six shipyards around the UK. Construction began on 26 May 2011 with the first steel being cut at Govan Shipyard by Defence Secretary Liam Fox. In September 2014, Prince of Wales reached a final assembly phase when hull blocks LB-02 and LB-03 were floated into one dock of Resyth Dockyard, Scotland. During the 2014 NATO summit in Wales, Prime Minister David Cameron announced that Prince of Wales would be brought into active service, rather than sold off or mothballed. This was later confirmed in the government's 2015 Strategic Defence and Security Review.